Good morning, you too. Shiz. It is Saturday morning, July 28th. I kind of get twisted because when I'm editing these videos, it's usually like two or three or four days later. So, like, I just, this morning, um, I went to sleep at, I got done with the 24th vlog. Then I went to bed, woke up at about uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm not sure what time it is now, it's probably like 3 or 4. The sun is probably in the 3 o'clock position right now. I'm not entirely sure. Taking the dogs out for a walk. It's my first time taking them out today. Ate a nice, healthy um, breakfast. But I found some um, really cool uh, websites out there and some videos. Um, well, one is not so cool. And I want to touch on the positive first before I get into the negative. Um, one of them is uh, there's this lady who does uh, fitness videos and exercise videos and talks about being fit. You know, talk, she always talks about how she does marathons. And um, because I'm not at home in front of the computer, I can't, you know, I don't have the the names, you know, imprinted in my head right now. But I'll put the link in the annotation and somewhere in this video. And I'll also put the link below in the description. I want to talk about that because I'm actually thinking that I'm 40 years old, and as you can see, I'm a not huge, but I'm a big guy. Um, the last time I weighed myself was over a year ago, and I was 280 pounds. When I was in the army, I was, you know, somewhere between, you know, 210, and at the highest 230. And when I was at 230, I barely, barely uh, made tape. Sometimes I broke tape, but then the next time they weighed me, I made the tape. If I can get myself, I like being big. Um, I don't want to be huge. You know, I definitely don't want to be this big. But um, I was actually thinking about uh, working on some type of uh, diet where I can get myself down to 240. I think 240 will be good because I'll still be a big guy. I mean, like I said, I don't want to be skinny because I really don't look good when I'm skinny. When I went to basic training, uh, they put me on a very strict diet, and I ended up being 190 pounds. I look like JJ of the good times. I did not like how I look. I look like a crackhead. I look so skinny. I'm 40 years old, 200, probably 90 pounds by now. I don't ever want to be 190 pounds, but I'll definitely, I want to start eating less starch, uh, less uh, carbs. You still need carbs. You know, that's just the basics of human life, where carbs is, is something that you need on your daily life, but it, you don't need a whole lot of it. One serving, and when we look at one serving of rice, it's pretty much like, like a pinch of rice. Like like you take this four fingers and grab some rice, and you pinch it, pinch it into a bowl. And it's, the bowls are usually really small. Come on. Come on, Jack. Come on, Jack. Come on. Come on. Oh, I saw this really cool video that this guy did. Again, I don't know the name of it at the top of my head, but I will post the link in the uh, descriptions below. But one of the uh, great things that when you look at 2012 and the predictions of 2012, you're – some of it's hard to believe because a lot of us are brought up to believe that we were sent here by God, uh, God created us, and how I have my own belief on God and how we're how we got here, that is not the discussion of the show. Uh, we're not going to discuss religion because that is a very hard discussion to have, especially since that's not where I want to take my show. Uh, when I say open mindedness, uh, what I mean is like I don't care if a person is gay or not. I don't care if a person has a certain belief, you know, it's, it doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is, if, are you a decent human being? Great. Let's let's be friends. That's what matters to me. Um, but when it comes to um, this guy, um, he seems like he's a, you know a religious guy of some sort. Uh, I don't know his exact religion. I don't follow his whole entire channel. He probably discusses that on his other shows. But what he talks about in this particular video is all the different events that are happening throughout the world, all the different the storms, the tornadoes that we have, um, the the phenomenon that we see in the sky, noise that's heard from the atmosphere, uh, earthquakes in places that earthquakes don't usually happen. 
like Washington, D.C. had an earthquake. Chicago had an earthquake. You don't hear of earthquakes happening in certain areas. Yes, there are faults. In fact, there is a fault line right here in Austin. But does it shake here? No. However, it may. You never know when, it, when that thing is going to go off. And we may be in some trouble here because the buildings here in Austin doesn't have the same building codes as, like, L.A., Japan, San Francisco, and other areas that are uh, prone to have uh, uh, massive earthquakes. But if we had an earthquake here, we'll be in, uh, especially a massive earthquake, we'll be in a hell of a lot of trouble. But the sun is acting up. The sun is producing all kinds of stuff that never has happened before Soho or, or Stereo. Is it called stereo? I, I think it's called stereo. Uh, or those two satellites that are on each side of the Earth capturing um, a stereo image of, uh, of the sun to monitor the sun's activity. And so we have a lot of uh, crazy stuff happening that's unimaginable. And... It's, I mean, it's, um, and this video just showcases all those different phenomena that we need to be paying attention to as human beings because who knows? If 2012 really happens, and really and truly, I don't know if it's going to happen or not. I have an open mind, and I look at the evidence of the things that are happening, you know, weird weather patterns, um, just crazy stuff that's been happening lately, and it's happening more often. It's not just, oh, there was one big, one bad storm and it's over. No, it's been a lot of things happening repeatedly on a consistent basis and more often than it has ever done before. And so it just seems like we are in trouble. And um, is 2012 going to happen? Who knows? You know, we, we could be in for a big surprise. Before then, we predicted that winter solstice 2012, which is December 21st, is uh, supposed to be the big happening of annihilation of at least 80% of the human population. Wow, that's that's huge. You know, because we got billions of people on this earth that are alive. We got billions upon billions of life forms, and we're going to lose 80% of that. One thing about humans, we're like roaches. We will survive. Now, will I survive? Who knows? But human beings will survive. There will be a continuance of the human race unless Earth itself gets devastated by a humongous asteroid that just covers a planet in, in smoldering hot lava and um, impact. Or if Earth decides to move closer to the sun and burn us to death or moves away from the sun and freezes us to death. Now, in those situations, yeah, we are close. Okay. And anybody who's left in the, in the um, space station, if they're able to get away from it, they're going to run out of food. They're going to run out of water. They're going to run out of power because they're moving too far away from the sun if they decide to get away from this area. And guess what? They'll be dead too. So in those cases, yeah, we're expected to have total annihilation of the human race. Uh, or some aliens come in with some powerful technology that we have no idea how to conquer or, or um, you know, defend ourselves with and just totally annihilate the whole human race or blow up the earth like Darth Vader did. Well, it wasn't really Darth Vader. It was the general, right, or the colonel, or whatever his title was. It wasn't really Darth Vader that did it. It was the emperor's call to uh, make that. I know. For you Star Wars fans, all oh, these little gnats are swarming all over my head. Ugh. So um, I, I have to say that um, this video was very interesting. And I will have to rate that as a must-see video to more to many people who really want to learn about um, the latest happenings on Earth to get prepared for 2012. Should we get prepared? Yes. I'm not saying build underground bunkers and sell your house, leave your job. No, 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 no. Because if December 22nd, 2012 comes around, we wake up like we normally do every single day, and it looks just like this. Or it's winter time, so it's going to be snow on the ground. Okay, it didn't happen. 2012 never happened. Should we be uh, alarmed? Yes. Pay attention. Look at the different evidence that are out there, and be you know, and be prepared because you never know.
if something does happen. Have an exit plan. Just like when you have, if you live in an earthquake city, you have a plan for that, for your household, for your business, for your school. You have a tornado plan. You have a hurricane plan, tsunami plan. It's like, okay, if this happens, what do we do? We're going to meet here, account for everybody, and then we'll go from there. All right, this is the longest intro ever, so I'm going to go ahead and start it. Uh, cue music. Yes. There we go. Yeah. Woo, it is hot up in here. Wow. And I don't mean like the song. I mean, it's literally hot. Uh, in here. Woo! Good Lord! Oh, get the air conditioning going. Oh, 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 radio off. Yes. Oh, please. Okay. Oh. 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 I mean, it's, it's warm outside. It's not hot. It's just warm. In fact, this is probably the coolest. Well, I've only been here a year. And when we got here last year, it was amazingly hot. It wasn't as hot as Phoenix, Arizona, because I lived, we lived there for three and a half years. But um, it is, it was really hot last year. This year, it hasn't been that hot. It was just, it's just very, very, very warm. Or a little hot. And in this type of temperature, you will still need a lot of water, Gatorade, and power aid in order to make it through the day if you're outside a lot, especially if you're working outdoors. Oh. Okay, the air conditioning is still warm. We're going to put it at full blast as soon as it gets cool enough. Right. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm not really dressed nicely. Got this old green t-shirt on. That's because I don't give a damn right now. It's mine. You know, relax days. But tonight I had to work on one of my clients' websites. I installed a template on her WordPress and worked on it. She didn't like it that much. She really didn't like the template. So what I gotta do is go back in there and work with it some more. All right, they didn't have what I wanted. Actually, they didn't have any dog food. They had some cat food in little bags, but they didn't have any dog food. Oh, um, I was outside this morning, or like an hour ago, actually. Um, I was talking about the different um, videos I saw that, on the Internet. Karen Klein, a lot of you have heard of her. She is an older lady, 68 years old um, is what I... Her, I'm not sure her exact age because a lot of people say 62, 58, one person says 70. Whatever her age is, uh, there's a video that was taken by definitely by someone's mobile phone camera on a school bus, and she's a school bus monitor. Now, she's an older lady. She probably is not making enough money on retirement or Social Security or whatever she has right now, whatever kind of money she's getting. She's definitely not making a lot of money. So she has to supplement her income by monitoring a bunch of rowdy ass school kids who doesn't have any respect for older people. I found another video today, and this is how I started watching videos about um, bullying, you know, bullies. And she was talking about all the different kids that are being teased in high school and how they contemplate suicide as a way to get away from it. Um, they, no one helps them. In fact, what can the school really do about it? I know uh, President Obama has gone, made some conferences about, uh, a press conference about stopping school violence and school bullying, but really there's not a whole lot you can do um, outside of 
harsh punishment for those who do bully. For those of you who did that when they were when they were kids, shame on you. Because I was one of the ones that you picked on. And I never contemplated suicide. No. I wanted to live. Because I knew there was a lot to live for. And I lived a good life. Um, I experienced all kinds of great things in my life. And I would have missed it all if I had thought about suicide and actually went through it. But even today, I'm 40 years old. And I think back about all the time that I was bullied. And it still hurts, all the rude things that people say. And it's, it is not the, the beatdowns and the pushing and the selling of your money, your shoes, you know, all that stuff that happened in my middle school years, uh, middle school, it was junior high school was, was named it before, but they changed it to middle school when I went to middle school. But during that time, I had the worst time of my life. Uh, people beat me down, people stole my shoes, my lunch, my money, my wallet, you know, just uh, a bunch of things that were just incredibly harsh. And it wasn't just me, it was a lot of nerds and geeks who were just bullied every single day. So, um, you know, uh, even today I'm, I'm like, oof. It's it just it's just heartbreaking. Um, when you see those kids, say we didn't have YouTube, we didn't have MySpace or, you know, <laughs> MySpace, right? Uh, I had a my in fact I still have a MySpace page. I just haven't been to it in a while. But uh, we used to we don't have YouTube, we didn't have Facebook, we didn't have Twitter. And these days, there are two ways to bully somebody. You can either beat them up or talk about them while they're in school, in person, or you can go on YouTube, Twitter, or Facebook and talk about, about them like dogs to all their school friends. And that's another way. In fact, there's been a lot of family channel, the Disney Family Channel, I think it's called, uh, where they talk about social media bullying. And um, that's harsh, too, because all your friends, and then you come to school the next day after they talk about you, talk about you slept with Ron or Bob or something like that, or they talk about how they caught pictures of you sucking dick, you know, and they somehow photoshopped a, a picture of you when you probably were laughing like, ha, 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 and they took your head and, eh, and they, yeah, um, I'm not going to describe the whole entire thing, but um, they could take pictures like that and make it look like, and it would look photoshopped, but it would still be funny, and the kids, they'll just make a big, huge deal out of it, okay? According to them, it's the funniest thing they ever saw. That is still bullying. And Karen Klein was a part of that bullying by kids. I think what made that bullying worse was the fact that these are young kids bullying an elder. Man, I never did stuff like that, ever in my life. I never bullied anybody, talked about anybody in a bad way in front of them, especially. Yes, you know, if, if I'm talking about my boss at work or I'm talking about somebody I work with, it's just between me and that person that I'm talking to. And the only way that person finds out about it is if me and my friend break up and then he goes and tells that person that I was talking about him. That's the only time. But really and truly, I never talked about someone in front of them before, you know, and never really said anything bad about it. I was like, yeah, he's fucked up and he has a bad attitude and for some reason we don't get along. You know, we just don't click. Just like my last boss. For some reason, we just didn't click. And that's the only thing bad. I mean, he's not a bad person. You know, as far as, as, far as I know. You know, he's not a bank robber. He's just not a, uh, a person that goes to a theater and shoots people up. We just don't click. That's why we don't get along. So bullying is uh, definitely something that I experienced before in high school. And uh, I haven't experienced since. Uh, I experienced a little bit of bullying in, in the Army because I was big and, you know, even though I made tape every, every um, tape time, you know, it's still, you know, considered bullying. And uh, it's like, damn, these young kids right out of high school. No wonder. And I was 29 years old when I joined the Army. Going to the Army with 18-year-olds, 17-year-olds. Yeah, that was pretty rough. But um, 
don't know. I, I, I just think it's wrong. It's just wrong. You know, these kids need to respect the elders. It's like it's wrong to be a bully in the first place, too, no matter who it is. I don't care if it's a mongoloid child with one leg and, a, and, a, and one eyeball, okay? That person does not deserve to be bullied. I don't care if that person is, is the most handsome person in the world. That person does not deserve to be bullied. Okay, I'm looking for something inexpensive. Definitely not. Oh, I hate to get him this because I'm sure this is not good food. Three seventy. Ooh, I don't know that. Seventy. Hold on, I gotta count my change real quick. Okay, seems like this will be it. This might work. Depends on the taxi. This might be the last time I vlog today. Depends on what happens tonight. I don't talk again. Like this video, please. Join our Facebook page. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter. And God damn, what else is there? Oh, and follow us on Google Plus. Hey. Shiz. Oh, let's see if I win the lottery. Five hundred. Million dollars went up to 2.5 million dollars. You gotta read the small print, whatever. All right, um, 2.5 won't be, will be nice, it will, sure will be nice right now. <laughs> I have no idea what this is gonna be, but it's gonna be called something. So, watch it, like it. That man has a friend, so, do what you gotta do. Peace.